Hello everyone, welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we're going to talk about the mode, the median, and the mean. Okay, so it's three weird words that we have to know in grade 10. So I suggest you guys just memorize these. So for the word mode, let that remind you of the word most. Okay, so it's the number that occurs the most. Then we've got the median. Now let that remind you of the word medium, you know, like small, medium, large. Well, medium is in the middle, so the median is the middle number. And then the mean, well, this is the one where the teachers are being very mean because they're wasting your time because the mean takes forever to calculate because that's the average. And that's the one where you have to go add everything together and then divide by the number of items. Of course, I'm going to show you how this all works in this video, but those are the three things you need to remember. The mode, it's the number that occurs the most. The median, think of small, medium, large, the median is the middle one. And then mean, well that's when the teachers are being very mean because they're wasting your time because you've got to calculate that big, you've got to do that big calculation and it's also just the average. Very, very important. I'm going to say that again. This is important. You must rearrange the numbers that they give you from smallest to biggest. And when doing so, please in the test just cross out the numbers that you have used. Then another thing to do is to add up all, or to count these numbers. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine over here. And so we should have nine over here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the chances are we've got everything. So let's find the mode. Well, we know that the mode is the number that occurs the most. Well, there's two fives and there's two sixes. So unfortunately for this one, there is no mode. You can't have two modes. Okay, but if the five, if there was a third five, then our mode would be five. And then median, well median is the number that is exactly halfway. Now I've seen many ways to do this. Uh, one of the ways that grade tens like to use is this method. So you cross out there, you cross out there, you cross out there, 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 there. Uh, that five wasn't actually part of it. And look what we left with right in the middle, the number six. So the median would be the number six. Kevin, is there a more mathematical way to do this? Yes, the proper way to do it is to use the formula n plus 1 over 2. Now this n is the number of items that we have. So we had 9 items, that's 9 plus 1 over 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Kevin, I thought the answer was 6. This is not the answer. That formula tells you the position of the answer. So we go to the position number five, and that'll be one, two, three, four, five. Aha, so position five is six. And now the one that's really mean, sucks when teachers do this, we have to calculate the average. So we have to go ahead and add everything together. So that's three plus four plus five plus five plus six plus six plus seven plus seven plus 12. You add all of that together, you then divide by the total number of digits, that, or the total number of numbers. So if you had to go add all of that up on your calculator, you should end up with 59. And if you divide all of the numbers, well, if you see how many numbers there are, they are 9. And so 59 divided by 9 is 6.56. What that means is that if you take all of these numbers, let's say this is the number of goals that a hockey team scores per match. So in the first match they scored three, then they scored four, then they scored five. One of the matches they scored 12. Some of the matches they scored 11. But the average is about six and a half. They usually score about six and a half goals per match. That's what the average means. Another way to think of average is if you get 60% for English, 20% for LO, because everyone studies for LO, 90% for maths because everyone loves maths. If you had to work out your average, if this was your report card, hopefully not for this part of the year, you would add everything together. So that would be 60 plus 20, which is 80. 80 plus 90 is 170. So your average is not 170%. You definitely have to divide by the number of subjects, and that is 3. So your average for the term is 56.67. Percent. So I hope from this video you understand that the mode is the one that occurs the most, which in this case there wasn't one, which is quite awkward for me. Median is the one that's in the middle, and then the mean is the average, the one where you have to do all the work.